Hi babes, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Riza. Please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I've uploaded something new. And if you're not new, thank you for sticking around. I know, and I keep saying that I will upload every Thursday evening, but that's just not happening. It kind of translates in my head to upload every three weeks on Thursday evening, but at least I got Thursday evening right. So we're just gonna go with that for now. I'm going to stop making promises that it's going to be every Thursday. I'm just going to upload whenever I deem it right. <laughs> so if you love me in small doses, then this is a great place to be. <laughs> um, but of course, if you love to see more of me, um, I do upload every single day on Instagram. That's where I am most active. So please make sure that you look at the description box below, which will lead you to my Instagram page. Um, I do daily outfit inspo and also aesthetics for lifestyle. Um, so if you're interested in that, please make sure to come visit me and say that you came from YouTube so I know where you're all from. So today I'm going to be talking about what I think are the best investment pieces for getting boots. So um, I think that in the past, I'm, well, <laughs> there's like really no graceful way to say this, but uh, I was an impulse buyer. Um, if anything, I was like borderline shopaholic and it just caused a lot of anxiety because of course it took up so much space. And um, after, some, after making some lifestyle changes, um, I was able to see what is more cost effective for investing in a good quality pair of boots. Um, I don't think that everyone needs, you know, five pairs of the same boot, um, but it's good to just have some variation while also holding on to it for many, many years. So the brands that I'm going to be talking about are, drum roll, I love these brands so freaking much. Um, the first brand is Tote Bianco, and the other brand is Windsor Smith. Um, I uh, discovered Windsor Smith when I was in Australia. Um, it's an Australian brand. They're, these are both Tony Bianco and Windsor Smith are an Australian shoe company. And like my last video, if you want to go see what I think are the best investment for denim, please go check that out. I will leave that below so you can see. Um, they are all <laughs> Australian brands that I discovered when I was there for an exchange program. And um, I was able to see you know, what was good quality. And yes, it's a little pricey. Um, especially like for boots, uh, it may be over like the 100 range, but if you think about it, especially in my experience, if I like, got a pair of boots that were like $70, <laughs> I didn't really wear it as much. Um, it didn't have the shape that I wanted um, as much as I tried to talk myself into it to uh, validate the price. Um, it just turned out not being worth it and then you were out $75. So compared to buying something that's say like $120, but you wear it, you know, most, mostly every single day, if not just like even just wearing it three times a week is good enough compared to not wearing it at all, which was what I was doing before. And it wasn't healthy. It wasn't a good mindset, not with finances, not with you know, um, having a minimal lifestyle. So we are just going to get into what kind of boots that I got. So um, it's actually more than boots. We're gonna be talking, <laughs> we're just gonna be talking about like good investment shoe pieces. So first thing that I like to talk about are these slides from Tony Bianco. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, then you've definitely seen these before. Um, I got them over the summer of course and they are going to be stuck with me for a very long time <laughs> because um i do like sandals that i either well i do like neutral colors so black white tan uh gray maybe light blue like a light kind of grayish blue and maybe dusty pink like very neutral colors i'm not really a bright contrast person you could see that on my instagram page that i just i'm not into that if i'm going to have like a pop of color or anything it's probably going to be like green it's going to be nature so um same goes for my clothes obviously so um yes <laughs> it has like these cute little frayed details 
so cute. It can go with casual outfits. It could go with um, like a night out outfit. So it's a really good statement piece. Um, I'm going to list all the prices below because I don't have them off the top of my head besides maybe like one pair of boots. <laughs> so that's something that's really nice too is that if you go on an Australian website and you see the price, it actually, actually isn't the price in US. It's actually less in USD. So that's kind of nice. I mean, it's still like kind of pricey, but... Uh, it's worth it <laughs> and I hope I get to explain why it's worth it. So uh, I'm a size six and a half and since um, I mean as far as my knowledge goes uh, There's no places that I can go in my area that has Tony Bianco that I can try on I don't know maybe it might be at like Nordstrom and stuff, but I mean just the Nordstrom near me. I I haven't seen it and I checked <laughs> so um my sources are from like Revolve, Tony Bianco's website, um, any Australian website that sells um, like high priced clothing, they have Tony Bianco, so I would definitely suggest checking them out. They're amazing, they have great, great quality. So um, in regard to online shopping, of course size is a top concern because you can't try it on. Um, and also like the way it's gonna look on you, you're not sure. So um, if you want like a visual, I'm going to do like a little try on portion so you can see like how it looks like on your foot. Um, I wouldn't say my feet are too ugly, so. <laughs> okay, so anyway, uh, yeah, like this is something that's supposed to be safe for summer because we still have like February and March and a little bit of April maybe to get through before I can probably wear sandals comfortably again. So next on to what you can wear in these winter months because it is just so god awfully cold outside are these beautiful babies. Oh my god. I didn't even notice that they, oh, you can see the tag. That's not attractive. You can even see like the little like, no, you can't really see it. All right, I tried. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I got these booties from Tony Bianco. Um, okay, don't send PETA after me. But they are leather. Please don't kill me. Like, trust me, I'm all for vegan leather. I'm all for vegan products. I don't know what else would be vegan for a product. But like, I know le like leather is a big like controversy. Um, I know that people are not uh, for using actual leather in their goods. And I was honestly surprised to see on Tony Bianca that they weren't vegan leather. Because I think they do carry, like, vegan leather products. But, unfortunately, these weren't. Which sucks. It does. It's really sad. But, I mean, what's done is done. And whoever sacrificed their skin for this, I will say for them <laughs> forever. This is so cruel. Okay, please don't hate me. But they're really cute. And they go with so many things. Like, so many things. Because... Um, you could style them with like uh, ankle socks and like have them like come up a little bit over um, and wear this with like stockings and a skirt. It look really cute. It will really lengthen your legs. I'm like 5'3", five, 5'4". Five, so, um, you know, getting shoes that make your legs look longer, it's all about the angles. <laughs> so, um, you know, anything that helps in the height department, I'm all for. So, really happy with those boots because they are just such a solid investment. I think they were about 120 AUD, so it's less than that in USD. So um, it's not a crazy investment. Uh, next, uh, last thing that I have from Tony Bianco, trust me, I'm going to get so much more Tony Bianco, like, trust me, it's gonna happen. So, next, I didn't get to wear these very often because um, I am a very casual person and I need to be invited to more parties so I can wear them. So if any of you know any good parties in DC, hook a girl up. So uh, next are these slides. They're not super high, which I very much appreciate uh, because I cannot walk in heels as it is. Um, I mean, I could walk in these because it's a very, very thick heel and it's not as tall. So I, I can work with that. Anything higher, than this, I mean, even I kind of struggle in these. And another thing, like with any shoe, is that you have to break them in. So I didn't get to wear these enough to really like form my foot to it. But I just really liked the minimal style. It has like these two little straps, the one that like goes in like the big toe, 
then like this to like make sure that you're not germing <laughs> everywhere because it was just like the toe it would be a mess so um really love these i think they also have um a color in tan i've been seeing different pictures i like i don't know if it's tan or blue it's like that like gold silver blue dress challenge but whatever i just went with black because you can't go wrong with black so um they go with everything they're amazing and um everyone does need a black heel like i think that's just like a staple to have for like any girl in her closet like she needs to have just a staple black heel and i know like some people go a little more crazy than i do with getting heels like they have like a wall of heels and i'm just like that's not for me i just need one <laughs> because like one i don't go out that much and two i don't really like heels so unless like someone can teach me how to walk in them if i knew how to walk in them then maybe i would like them more but um i think these go great with jeans i think they go great with a dress of course um so these are just fantastic they're a statement piece but they're also timeless um which is you know a, a deal for me like if it's something that i can wear for years on when it's like not in its prime when it just came out then you know it just adds to my buying decision so can't wait to wear these more uh someone invite me to a party so i can wear these <laughs> And lastly, so uh, I think it's good to have a heeled booty, but I also think it's good to have a flat booty just so, you know, you have that variation where, like, you don't really feel like wearing heels. Like, you're literally just going to the supermarket or something, but, you know, you just can't help but look really chic. That's me. So, um, these are from the brand Windsor Smith. I think that they are an amazing brand. It's the first Australian shoe brand that... I fell in love with <laughs> um they have some amazing choices um in their store but of course they don't have a boutique in the u.s i think they should get on that because i would be there like all the time so i would be like their only customer <laughs> that wouldn't be true people would catch on really fast but um i'd be like their first their their biggest fan <laughs> so um yeah uh everyone i think should have a chelsea boot um, this is like the type of style that is a classified Chelsea boot. Um, it's real leather again. Please don't send PETA after me. <laughs> they like actually kill people. <laughs> so, um, it is real leather. I'm sorry. But I've had them for three years, so that sacrifice is going to a good cause too. Oh, I'm so awful, but I love fashion. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, I like these because they slim the ankle. I feel like my ankles are not really that flattering, so if I can find a boot that makes it look like nice and slim, um, then that is a good choice for me. And this is what it does. It looks great with black jeans for like an all black everything look. Um, it looks good with like I said with the other booties, if you like uh, layered it with like an ankle sock and then stockings and a skirt, it would look really, really good. So um, that is all that I have for um, Australian investment boots and shoes just in general. Um, I think that these are a great investment to make for, you know, going outside the box and, you know, not really giving in to what's the u.s trend i don't know i feel like that's like the wrong way to phrase it but i think it's just like something that's different you know you're not just going for like what is the typical trending shoe on instagram like you're stepping out of the box <laughs> and you're trying something new and i can contend that their sizes are true to size um i am a six and a half so you know it's not like too tight around your foot it's not like you know you have any extra space because I know how it can be a little difficult shopping online, especially for shoes, um, and making sure that you got the right size. But these, I can tell you confidently that they are true to size and they will make your feet look amazing. And you'll probably get a lot of comments on how amazing those shoes are, where'd you get them, and everything. <laughs> um, and yes, I do apologize again for them being actual leather, but in this case, I'm human, okay? Humans make mistakes. I'm allowed to be imperfect. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so, of course, you can see how I style these on my Instagram um, and how I will style them 
uh, when I'm talking about each pair of shoe <laughs> um, and that is it I really hope that you enjoyed this video um, please comment below what you thought if you're thinking about checking them uh, checking either Tony Bianco or uh, Windsor Smith out they do offer um, like tennis shoes and everything they have some I have my eyes on like some really cool tennis shoes from Windsor Smith so I'm probably gonna get those and you're probably gonna see it on my Instagram so you should definitely go check out my page so you can see how I style all of these like that's something that's really really good about making an investment because you know you're not just gonna wear it once and then it's just gonna be chilling in your closet not doing anything and like you know wasting your investment like you want something that you're going to wear constantly and you know these I've worn pretty much every single day besides the heels and heels are like their own category and that's clearly because of lack of opportunity not because like I don't want to wear them and I like don't care about them I do I love them they're my babies so <laughs> um, I really hope that you enjoyed this please make sure that you subscribe like and comment um, please let me know if you're thinking about getting a anything from Windsor Smith or Tony Bianco it's a good choice to make <laughs> so um, I will see you next time babes love you